Welcome to this new video. Today, we're gonna turn this eight liters jar into wonderful mini world for isopods. I'll show you step-by-step step how to make a beautiful display tank while giving you some tips on isopods keeping. So let's go. Here we have our jar. I have made few modifications just before video. The isopods are waiting patiently in their plastic tub for the moment. First, I've added some little anti-slip pads to prevent the jar from rolling. And I've cut a little ventilation hole into the lid that I covered with a removable mesh fixed with magnetic tape. To start, we need a drainage layer. For this, I use clay balls, but you can use any kind of rocks. I'm just gonna fill the bottom of the tank, nothing complicated. Note that you don't need a 15 centimeters drainage layer like some people do. Now I'm gonna add a separation layer to prevent soil from falling in the drainage layer. Some people use a mesh for that, but personally I prefer sphagnum moss. Same thing here, just cover the previous layer with it. Note that I add more moss on the back of the tank to allow a bigger water retention. This will help creating the humidity gradient that's necessary for the isopods. Next step, let's prepare the soil. I'm using the Earthmix Forest Systems here as a base, but you can use almost any organic soil without fertilizer. Be careful if you use planting soil. It may contain unwanted invertebrates. To prevent this, put it in a little bag 48 hours in the freezer before use. I'm gonna add some crunched oak leaves, some birch chips, and a bit of sphagnum moss. They will slowly decompose and become a food source for the isopods. Those birch chips can be found in most reptile shop. They're sold as snake bedding and cost almost nothing. Now let's add some green things into this. I have here a ficus pumila, a cute little plant that love humidity. I'm gonna clean it under water and remove as much soil as possible to prevent bringing unwanted pests and chemical fertilizer. Having plants is primordial in a mini ecosystem. They will regulate humidity, purify air, and will feed on isopods frass. Also, isopods will love to climb on it, hide under the leaves, and also munch them when they want a fresh snack. I'm putting it at the back of the tank as it will be the wet side. There's already some condensation on the glass, but don't worry, I'm gonna clean it up for you. Also, don't worry about the soil on the leaves. I'll clean it up at the end. Now, here's a little tip. I'm gonna make a little cave on the front side for them to hide so I can observe them. For that, I'll start with a little floor with dried leaves and cover them with little cork bark. Just add a bit more soil on the top of it and keep the little entrance free. With a little cave on the front, you will be able to watch the isopods even if they wanna hide all day long. We wanna replicate a real little piece of nature so let's add some moss. I've picked some bits out of my mossariums. I'm gonna put them on the wet side. Here we love plants, so I'm gonna add a little Fetonia cutting. Isopods really love to munch their leaves. And a bit more moss, because you can't have too much moss. Now to make the isopods happy, I'm gonna cover the soil with crunched dried birch leaves. They absolutely love them. I'm adding another cork bark on the dry side to provide another hiding spot for the pods. We want to exploit verticality to provide more space for the isopods to chill and help them regulate their required humidity. So I'm gonna add spiderwood branches. They're pretty and with their light coloring, they make a nice contrast. I'm a bit fighting with this annoying branch to make it fit where it belongs, but it's gonna work. I will now add some decorations and hiding spots for the isopods. For this, I like using various seed pods. Here I have Gory Cup, 
they will act like really tiny house. Before adding anything, I'll add springtails. Those little bugs are mandatory in any bioactive terrarium. They will eat mold before it grow, therefore prevent mold outbreak. Now things are slowly getting pretty. Let's add some rocks to make a little easy to clean food area and a little path going to it from the little gory cup house. I have this really pretty batum pod that will make a cute little hunt for the isopods. Things are going well. A little last step as isopods need a calcium source. I'm going to place those bits of cuttlefish bones. So here it is. I'll just add some leaves to it where I can see the soil. And here the result after a bit of cleaning, a beautiful bioactive terrarium, a mini forest village for the isopods. But it's not over. We need to add our little friends. Just one thing I forgot. Here's some dry birchwood piece. I'm gonna add them a bit on the wet side behind the little ficus and a bit on the dry side. They'll slowly decompose and become food for our guys. Let's add the isopods. Here they are. They are Armadillidium maculatum chocolate, or chocolate zebra. The ones I received are quite dark, but they can be brown to dark brown with an amazing little zebra pattern. They're so cute, I already love them. Here you go, baby. This is your forever home. I hope you will like it. Oh, he directly found the little cave, smart boy. I'm going to add your friend and family right now, don't worry. And almost done, this silly one doesn't want to leave me. Come on little guy, there's no reason to be afraid, here your lovely home. I ordered 16 of those guys, but the seller had an issue and was able to send only 8. Anyway I received only 7, bad luck I guess. But don't worry there's already 2 pregnant ladies, so we're gonna see baby zebras in few weeks. And after all the stress from the shipping, they deserve some rest and a little snack. I've made them a little plate with sweet potato, zucchini, and gamorous shrimps. Those brave little heads totally deserved it. And here we go. An hungry guy has already located the snacks. You can eat and rest, little one. It has been a stressful day. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it helped you for your future build. You can subscribe and check the channel if you want to see more cute little friends. Bye, see you soon.